Hey, how's it going, everyone? Lunatic Rider 209. Got a short little video for you. Had a subscriber reach out. He wanted to see a detailed up close look on the modification done to my front locking block on the SS80. So let's go ahead and get started. Magwell's clear. Chamber's clear as well. Let's take off the slide, point in safe direction, pull the trigger. Let's go ahead and remove it. Pulling the slide lock down. Slide forward. Set it aside right here like so. Let's take out our trigger pin before we take out the Allen screws. I like to do that first. Trigger pins out. Let's go ahead and get started on the Allen screws. I like to keep them separate because each one's cut a certain length. There's the left side. Let's go ahead and remove the right side. They're in there pretty tight too. All right, let's go ahead and move the, the, take out the front locking block. it up nice and slow just work it out easily don't want to put too much pressure on it all right now it's off let you get a nice close look at it drilled and tapped I would have liked to go higher on the front locking block to get more metal, but the reason I had to go lower on it is if I drilled this any higher, there wouldn't have been that much material on the frame to hold that much pressure on the front locking block if it did happen to, you know, shift up and down so that's why it's so low on the front locking block as you can see now as well this is the first generation ss80 locking block so the newer generation locking block might be different i don't know i haven't seen them i might order me one or get a hold of the glock store see if they can ship me out a new front locking block so if you have more material than this then you have you know a lot more room to work with than i did on this front locking block there's the threads you can see now let's check out the frame So you see how much material you have right here on the frame. And that's what's going to be holding these counter countersink, these Allen head screws on there. Like so. And what it does is it holds it from moving if it happened to do so and keep it, you know, a lot more sturdy. That's just uh, my opinion in it. That's why you see a lot of these uh, frames that you do yourself, most of the time they all have pins holding that front locking block down. So what it does is that sits in there like so, and then the rest, the threads, is what's holding on to the front locking block and keeping it from shifting and you got you know a good amount of material to have uh, that thread holding on to 
So I got well over 10K on this frame and do my own reloading. So something you keep track on. And uh, there you have it. That's what it looks like. Here's what the Allen screws look like. You got the thread that holds the front locking block right there, as you can see. And then you got this part that tapers into a nice thicker head on the Allen screw that will be countersunk into the frame and locks it in very well. I haven't had any issues yet. I'm gonna try to do a wear and tear on this SS80 frame of 10K plus. I've had this thing for a while now. It was pretty much the first um, on the list for the pre-order of the SS80 when it came in. Love shooting it. It's been holding up. That's what the locking block, front locking block is looking like. Let's go ahead and put it back together. Drop the front locking block in like so. Push down. Let's go ahead. Put our trigger pin in first. in there got it locked in now let's go ahead and put our allen screws in do the left side so grab the left allen screw first tighten it on there now I can put quite a bit of tension on it but you don't want to overdo it so you don't strip the threads the threads or anything from over tightening but I can definitely you know get some good force in it when I tighten it and they haven't walked out on me whatsoever no Loctite or anything on them let's tighten up this one and tight let you get a close look of how the allen screws look like when they're inside sorry about the lighting just trying to let you see inside right here. Because uh, you don't want to, you know, cut down on the Allen screw too much. You want just barely anything to be coming out the back side so the 
recoil spring, you know, doesn't get caught on it. But that's what it looks like. If you got any other questions, leave it at the comments below. Let's go ahead and put the slide on. Chamber's clear. Magwell's clear. Point safe direction. But, you know, does the job. Doesn't move. Been working great. No complaints here. And uh, there you have it, folks. Enjoy. And I'll definitely try to bring out some more videos when I get some time. I apologize for that been busy so bear with me i'll see you guys on the next one